Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're going to discuss why you shouldn't believe everything you read. The truth many headlines overlook. There are a lot of questions right now regarding the real estate market as we head into 2022. The forbearance program is coming to an end and mortgage rates are beginning to rise. With all of this uncertainty, everyone with a megaphone, from the mainstream media to a lone blogger, has realized that bad news sells. Unfortunately, we'll continue to see a rash of troublesome headlines over the next few months. To make sure you aren't paralyzed by a headline, turn to reliable resources for a look at what to expect from the housing market next year. There are already alarmist headlines starting to appear. Here are two recent topics you may have seen in the news. One, foreclosures are spiking today. Oh my God, the sky is falling. There are a number of headlines circulating that call out the rise in foreclosures in today's real estate market. Those stories focus on an overly narrow view of that topic the current volume of foreclosures compared to that of 2020. They emphasize that we're seeing far more foreclosures this year compared to last year. That seems rather daunting. However, though it's true foreclosures have been up over the 2020 numbers, it's important to realize that there were virtually no foreclosures last year because of the forbearance plan. If we compare this September to September of 2019, the last normal year we ever saw, foreclosures were down 70% according to the ATTOM. Even Rick Sharker, an executive vice president of the firm that issued the report referenced in the above article and says, quote, as expected, now that the moratorium has been over for three months, foreclosures actively continue to increase, but it's increasing at a slower rate. And it appears that most of the activity is primarily on vacant and abandoned properties or loans in foreclosure prior to the pandemic. Homeowners who have been impacted by the pandemic are not generally the ones being burdened right now. That's because the forbearance program has worked. Arlie Halliston, president of auction.com, explains that the program has done a remarkable job. Quote, the tsunami of foreclosures many feared in the days of the pandemic has not materialized thanks to the large part in the swift and decisive foreclosure protections put in place by the government and policymakers in the mortgage servicing industry. And the government is still making sure homeowners have every opportunity to stay in their homes. Rowett Copra, director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, issued a statement last week Quote, failures by mortgage services and regulators worsened the impact of the economic crisis a decade ago. Regulators have learned their lessons and we will be scrutinizing services to ensure they are doing all they can to help homeowners and follow the law. Number two, rising mortgage rates will slow the housing market. Another topic generating frequent headlines is the rise in mortgage rates. Some people are expressing concern that rising rates will negatively impact the housing market by causing home sales to dramatically decline. The resulting headlines are raising unneeded alarm bells. To counteract those headlines, we need to take a look at what history tells us. Looking at data over the last 20 years, there's no evidence that an increase in rates dramatically forces sales to come to a halt nor does home price appreciation come to a screeching stop. Let's look at home sales first. The last three times rates increased, shown in red, sales, shown in blue, remained rather consistent. It's true that sales fell rather dramatically from 2007 through 2010, but mortgage rates were also falling at the time. The next two instances showed no meaningful drop in sales. Now, Let's look at home price appreciation. Outside of the years following the crash, prices continue to appreciate just at a slower rate. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. There's a lot of misinformation out there. If you want the best advice on what's happening in today's current housing market, give me a call, comment below, or just send me a direct message. Thanks for watching, it does mean the world to me. And please subscribe and like the videos we're putting out there. It really does help me know what kind of content to put out, tweaks and changes we make. And if you don't wanna be part of the community or you don't feel you're clicking with the content, you can always unsubscribe later. But it does help for you to not miss our next video as soon as it hits. 
We'll see you next week.